Hello all the bloggers and gorgeous people, welcome back to all of you. My name is Nika, all the way from India. So, this is the part 6 of the scope application where we are building our ticket booking application in service now. So, for now we have these two use cases. The first one create catalog item and the second one create a flow for the created uh, catalog item that is booking ticket cancellation. Basically we have to create a flow for this above catalog item. So in this catalog item we have six variables as you can see on the screen. Let me show you. So first of all to create a new catalog item you just have to type maintain items uh, on the application navigator search box and under the service catalog you could see this maintain items menu just open that and by clicking this new button which is at the top right corner my mouse is a uh, pointing that uh, if you can see on the screen so to create a new catalog item you can just click that button and you will be able to create new catalog item so here the name booking ticket cancellation the catalogs are selected so this catalog and the category can we help you and state publish Basically, this catalog item is published, and the flow here you could see in the process engine tab. I've selected this, uh, this custom flow I've created for this catalog item. Uh, according to the use case, I had to create a flow. So, these are the variables. You could see uh, requested by choose booking info. Uh, I just want to show you by clicking this try button. So you could see. So these are the variables. And to cancel the book ticket, you have booked ticket you have to select the booking information records and only your ticket will be cancelled based on selected booking information record and this customer name and customer phone is mandatory and the justification if you want to type something here And just want to tell another important things here. See, uh, uh, previously to split into two, three columns, two columns, uh, we had to create a new variable record but uh, if you will try with this editing catalog builder then there is an option to divide the variables into two columns and that is more easier for you than creating a variable record like uh, this by clicking this new button so it's up to you not only that if uh, you want to create a variable which is text type boolean type and number type and if you want to add the validation also then it is preferable to if you will try editing catalog window that's it so Let's see the flow which I have created. 
so this is the flow and uh, after creating flow you just have to add here process engine tab you have to so you can select the workflow flow the default execution plan and in the system property this one com dot essence you have process to that reporting that level by default in tokyo version it will be off so after execution you might not be able to you may not be able to see the execution so in this case you have to enable this properties and you have to change the value to on and only you can see the execution that has been completed and how the process was so let's so here the trigger point is service catalog basically this uh, flow will be for the service catalog so action you have to select here service catalog and then this done to click the done and the, here what i am doing is that i guess uh, try to access the variables from the array team so there is a action called get catalog variables in service code spoke so you can select that and you have to select the requested item using this data fill cut okay so uh, if i click this you could see and the catalog item you have to select and what all variables you want to choose so what all variables you want to take from this rt that you can uh, move from available section to selected using this button next uh, line number 2 looking or booking information record so she also the action called look up record So basically, search booking record to get the honor of transporter for approval. Yes, uh, I am booking the ticket for this transporter, and the honor of this transporter is Ray Watson. So the approval should be created for the honor of the transporter. That's why I had to look up the record business uh, booking information with the help of variables. Uh, this one. Choose booking information record. So the choose record. So the customer. as i said this is mandatory okay and maybe some customer cannot have email so, so i didn't make it mandatory field so for this one customer phone i make it mandatory and there will be no login and credential for the external user so that's why i just storing the information like this okay and there are the seat the transporter each yes uh so just the dot work uh, if i will over this maybe it is not showing but it pushed uh Seat the transporter. Maybe I have selected this. This uh, 
spring cold that's why it is not so difficult it is basically the the transporter uh, through this state i'm going through the uh, seat at this state going through seat and then choosing the transporter and that's it so next uh, i just had to assign a requested item to the bus owner transporter owner so i update the record here so the created array team that field assigned to have updated to the updated with the transporter owner here so you could see lookup record okay the information record c transporter and transporter true owner that's how i am selecting then you have to click on done the line number 4 create approval record Okay. Again, uh, like previous, we created a approval record. So X on here create record. The table is yes is approval underscore uh, approver. We have to select and approval for basically the requested item and the approver, the owner of the transporter. So. going like this look up record through booking information record through seat through transporter to owner that's it and here i am adding a comment so that uh, we can know that uh, this is this task is for cancellation request so that's why i have added the comment request for cancellation so after that you just have to click this button done five see waiting for approval rejection or cancellation so after creating approval record here i'm waiting for this condition to be met the test state is one of approved rejected cancel and the record i have selected is this one create approval record the approval record i have selected is for ritm and then it is uh, referring the table is is approval approval if that state will be changes will be change to this approved rejected or cancel then this uh, will allow to process the further action so here you could see if approved and uh, here the condition see created record uh, approval record okay. state is approved and it will update the booking information record and basically it will update the status to cancellation approved and uh, not only that it will update the ritm to close complete so this is how it is updating the booking information record and this soon here state goes complete and approval approved that's it else if this condition will not meet meet then the else part here cancellation reject it same here we just have to update the status of the booking information record and then after we have to update the requested item record uh, it is approval rejected and state close complete that's it and that's all for this catalog item and 
I just want to do is that uh, from here I just want to open this demo okay. and you could see the so the code is for booking a ticket and this user had to approve for to uh, to approve the request for booking so let's change it approve okay and then So you could say booking approved. Okay. Set. What I want is that now I just want to cancel the booking. So what I will do? I will go to this catalog item and requested by should be the login, should be the user of uh, this application. So for now we don't have the specific users let's select this choose booking information record and in our case we have to select uh, this one zero zero nine okay it will automatically show you the record uh, which state is request for cancelling so Select this and customer phone should be same as this. Let's copy all the and the customer name okay Boom. okay that's it and here I can say that I want to cancel my thing to to and Two, two, and urgent tenor gen C third second. Okay, so that's it. And let's click this order now. Okay. So let's go to the flow designer and check the execution. So just now let's open it. So here you could see state is waiting. So first this one is completed. Look up update record. So here it is. So let's uh, click close all this. Okay, so let's open it. So we have this IP. So assign to Ray Watson. Because uh, we'll go here and We'll check the owner is Ray Watson for this transporter. So So if I will approve, okay. If I will approve this one. 
it will update the state complete close complete and the approval yes and if i'll go here then you could see that the cancellation approved right so this is how it will work and that's it because uh, this was the previous record that's why your comments is not showing and uh, in our previous flow i forgotten to add the comments but i uh, have updated so next time it will show the comments like if i will request f save Okay, so we will check that. Maybe if I will approve. Don't know. Okay, I just want to delete this record. Okay, now let's create another. This old record causing issue. So, this ID minus one. Okay, and I have to book the two. You can select uh, the six also. Uh, let's demo 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 dot g dot gmail dot com customer phone four 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 and Eight, we can select two and six in both. This two and fourteen date. Fourteen twenty four and just save it. So still so. So you could see the requested and the comments here. Request for booking ticket. Right. And I will approve. It is approved. Okay. So from so from the catalog item if i will request for cancellation and if i will reject then the status will move to Cancellation rejected. That's it. And so you could see sales part. Status is cancellation rejected. That's it. And after that, it will update the RIT to closing complete rejected. That's it. So that's all for today, friend. That's all for this video. And hope you like my idea.
And if you follow along with me, and it will be very helpful to, to understand all the process that how can we build an application by using all the technology which are available in this service now. So friend, thank you for watching. Let's meet in our next video session.